Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Quran concerned with time and its discourse about days and years. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Allah alternates night and day. There truly there is a lesson in all this for those who have eyes to see. I bear witness, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is the servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. When contemplating the glorious Quran, one realizes that it pays much care for time, which indicates its importance and the need to utilize it for the performance of good and righteous deeds. The Almighty Allah makes many authors in the Quran with different timings of the day. He the Most High saw by the dawn in the surah that carries this name. Surah Al-Fajr, the dawn. Allah said, by the dawn, by the ten nights, by the, by the even and the old. Also the Almighty Allah saw by the early hour of the day, saying, by the morning brightness, and by the night when it grows still, your Lord has not forsaken you, Prophet, nor does he does not like you. Also the Almighty Allah saw by the Asr late afternoon, saying, by the declining by the declining day, man is deep in loss, except for those who believe and do good deeds, urge one another to the truth, and urge one another to steadfastness. In another Quranic verse, Allah said, by the shining morning, by in shuddering night, by the radiant day. The Almighty Allah has made the passage of time, days and years, as one of the miracles indicating his absolute power and knowledge. The Almighty Allah said, We made the night. We made the night and the day as two signs, then darkened the night and made the daylight for seeing, for you to seek your Lord, to seek your Lord bounty and to know how to count the years and calculate. We have explained everything in details. The universe works. The universe The universe works according to a marvelous and accurate system that never changes or breaks down. The Almighty Allah sent the sun runs its determined course laid down for it, for it by the Almighty, the all knowing. We have determined we have determined faces for the moon until finally it becomes like an old age stake. The, the sun cannot overtake the moon, nor the night overturn the day. Each float in its own orbit. Allah the Almighty said, Say, Prophet, just think if Allah were to cast perpetual night over you until the day of resurrection. What God other than he could bring you light? Do you not listen? Say, just think if God were to cast perpetual day over, over you until the day of resurrection. What God other than he could give you night in which to rest? Do you not see? In his mercy he has given you night and day, so that you may rest and seek his bounty and be grateful. Also Allah, glory be to him, said, He made the night merge into the day, and the day into the night. He has subjected the sun and the moon. Each runs for an appointed term. Such is Allah your Lord. All control belongs to him. This you, those you invoke beside him, do not even control the skin of dead stone. To maximize the value of time and show its importance, 
the Quran related to the acts of worship with the specific times. And the Almighty Allah said about prayer. Prayer is obligatory. Prayer is obligatory for the believers at prescribed times. Also Allah said, so perform the regular prayers from the decline of the sun until the darkness of the night. I recite the Quran at dawn. Dawn recitation is always witnessed. Also, regarding fasting, the Almighty Allah said, it was in the month of Ramadan that the Quran was revealed as a guidance for mankind, clear messages, giving guidance and distinguishing between right and wrong. So any one of you who is present, any one of you who is present that month should fast. About the charity, Allah said, Bay what is due on the day of harvest. Also about Hajj the Almighty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Bay what is due about Hajj, the pilgrimage take place during the prescribed months. And the glorious Quran guides us to think over and over and take lessons from the past times and the previous nation at the Almighty. Allah said, What are this what are they waiting for but the punishment that came to those before that came to those before them and said we alternate these days among people Allah also said to remind them of the day of Allah Abdullah ibn Abbas commented in this verse saying that is a reminder them of which indicate that occurred for the previous nation at tabari said it means exhort them by the stories of old nation and their fortune and misfortune. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad وسلم, his companions and followers. And the glorious Quran talks about the days of this world life, to remind us of the days of the hereafter, in order to do the best work for it and to do best prepare ourselves for it. As it's to Allah we shall return. The Almighty Allah said, you who believe, give what we have provided for you before the day comes when there is no bargaining, no friendship, and no intercession. It is disbelievers who were who are wrong. Also, Allah said, the angels and spirit ascend to him on a day whose length is fifty thousand years. So be patient, Prophet وسلم, The disbelievers think it is distant. But we know it, it to be close. On a day when the heaven will be like a molten bronze and the mountain like a tuft of wool. When no friends will ask about his friend. Allah also said, a day with your Lord is like a thousand years by your reckoning. Also Allah said, on the day when the sky sway back and forth and the mountain float away. In another verse, Allah said on the day when every soul finds all good it has done present before it, it will wish all the bad it has done to be far, far away. Allah warns you to be aware of him, but Allah is a compassionate toward his servants. So we need to be aware of the value of time. We need to be aware of the value of time and take lessons from the days and years and work for the sake of your religion and life. And work for yourself and your home then. This is a reminder that urge you to work and make use of time that benefit yourself and benefit your home then. And benefit people. The Almighty Allah said, it is he who made the night and the day follow each other. So anyone who wishes may be mindful to show gratitude. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, man's feet will not move on the day of judgment before he is asked about four things. His life, how did he consume it? His knowledge, what did he do with it? His wealth, how did he earn it? And how did he dispose of it? And about his body, how did he wear it? May Allah protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.